Here we are, Isaac Savage, Glad Rap Channel in Cambridge, New Zealand, with the star of the show, or going to be the star in Singapore soon, Cairo George. Tell us about the journey, mate. I'll kiss that here. I'll tell you about it. So, um, yeah, so training's been going real well. Um, we've left no stone unturned this training camp. Uh, I've been staying with my coach for the last few days, just going over tapes of my opponent and um, studying things, looking for what is, what's going to be vulnerable. And we've just been drilling. I've had the right amount of sparring partners. Um, Tummy, who's the 69 kg number one guy in New Zealand. Um, Chad Milnes, who's went to the Commonwealth Games, not boat champ. So, yeah, 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 chop, chop. So I've had real good sparring partners, real good training partners like uh, Josh and David Nika. They're from my gym in Hamilton, Hit Fitness HQ. Um, Matt Vale and Luke Jamo from the UFC. So I've had, I've had the, the best training camp that you know I could ask for. So um, yeah, we've really left no stone unturned. This camp, I'm ready to go. You know, you just mentioned a couple of guys. One Josh uh, tonight that were commentator with Matt Vale, MMA fighter. What's it like fighting the heavier guys, the taller guys like uh, Matt Vale that will throw quite unorthodox punches? Yeah, that's the thing. You know, like uh, those MMA guys like Luke and uh, Maddie. Those MMA guys, they throw you know real unorthodox things, but. You know, if anything can happen in a fight, so you know you got to prepare for everything. So those guys have been real good. They keep me sharp, and they throw those like like you say those unorthodox things, and that you just got to be sharp and be ready for. What's um? What do we know about your opponent? Like, obviously we know a bit about you, but wh who who is the guy that you're fighting overseas, and uh, what can you tell us about him? Um, I can't really pronounce his name, but but his first name's Roberto, um, and uh, he's an Indonesian lightweight champ. Um, to, he's fought probably better competition than I've fought so he's been in there with some of the best guys he's had a lot more experience than me in the ring um, I look at him as a, as a gatekeeper because he's kind of like that guy that you have to beat to sort of go to the next level um, so he's been beaten by the top guys so I, I see myself as, the, as one of the, you know, the next level guys so to um, <coughs> bit of a scrap going on over there I don't know if you guys want to get some action or what. <laughs> Speaking to you earlier as well, uh, you were saying about uh, the new NZQA qualification. You've got an online uh, thing going now that's accredited. You help train fitness, uh, I guess, PTs throughout New Zealand. How's that going for you and how does that work here uh, for those watching back home? Yeah, so um, I've been working at uh, Les Mills for the past six, seven years. And I found a lot of my time I was training other personal trainers because, you know, they just want to upskill in boxing. So now I'm running a, a course called uh, STM Boxing Certification and it's uh, credentialed by reps, which is uh, registered exercise professionals. So when personal trainers and stuff do the course, there's credits and stuff to their um, qualification. Uh, and, yeah, so the, the whole point of it is to um, help personal trainers use boxing as a fitness tool. I think it's just going to grow the sport uh, and, the, you know, People don't have to necessarily be boxing to be fighters. Um, I think it's a good fitness tool, you know. So can we go to that on your website or your Facebook? What was the name of that site again, sorry? Um, yeah, so STM, so Successful Training Method, that stands for. And then it's Boxing Certification by Cairo George. Awesome. Hey, it's so good to be, you know, see you involved there, especially, you know, being NZQA qualified, accredited. You're only a week now away from travelling. What's on your mind? You're obviously training hard. You'll taper off soon. When do you fly out? And what do you want to have to say back to uh, everyone watching back home? Um, yeah, so uh, I'm only a couple of days left here in New Zealand. Uh, I fly in two, two more days. And, uh, yeah, just uh, all the support that I get at home, you know, really means a lot. Uh, all the training partners that have been grinding it out with me this camp, uh, I'm doing it all for everyone that's been helping me out, all my family. Um, big shout-out to Glad Rap. Man, I remember... Glad Rap back in the early days, uh, I fought against this Australian guy, and this is back in 2015. Um, and I had Josh, you know, all access back with me in the change room and stuff. So, you know, I've been uh, had a lot to do with Glad Rap for, for quite a while now, so it's really awesome to have your guys' support as well. So, thank you so much. Thanks, Cairo. But what we'll do is uh, we'll try to find a link, put up the date of the fight, so back, uh, back home everyone can watch that. And uh, we would just love supporting your career and we look forward to you, you know, getting the win and uh, putting New Zealand back on the map. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thanks, so Thanks, Heaps. Thank you.